Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Workshop. If you've been following along on my channel, you know that this channel is dedicated to doing a variety of different things. I've made stuff out of wood, I've done welding projects, I've done home maintenance type of things, and I'm going to bring you another video today to talk about a door handle. Now, I have a good video that shows you how to replace a quick set style door handle in your entry door of your house. Or if you want to upgrade and get a different one or whatever, that video will show you how to do that. But, let me show you how to save some money. We currently have an issue with the entry door to our house, and that is what I have right here. This is quick set style door handle, same kind of thing that I used in the other video, only this one we've had for quite some time. You see it has some wear and tear on it, and I'm not worried about that. Cosmetics don't matter as long as it functions. The problem is this piece. This is the main mechanism that is operated by these two knobs. So when you turn the knob, the internal piece rotates. You probably see that piece turning inside there. What that does, it goes through this opening right here and it makes the latch open and close. The problem is this thing is worn out. This doesn't want to move anymore. And this morning when I left the house, it actually locked me out. You know, we were having trouble shutting the door and I shut the door hard and I couldn't get back in. I had to go through another door. So I decided to address this. And initially I thought I was going to have to buy a whole new assembly until I did a little research and I found that you can buy these just this part alone. And that is what I have right here is a new internal piece from uh, Quickset that I bought at Lowe's. So basically eight bucks you can get one of these and fix your door handle. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so here's your exterior part of your um, door handle. This is the internal latch. You'd have to squeeze that together a little to get it to line up. And then this piece slides on and it only fits one way. So when you're operating your door, you know, you push in and that is supposed to compress so that it shuts. You know, even though you have the door locked, this is supposed to compress in and latch your door. Now, of course, it's turning a little freely right now because there's no binding on this. And I've already played with it a little bit to try to loosen it up. But I'm going to take this piece out, set these two aside for the moment, and open up this package. So what you get inside this package is a new mechanism, just like the one that's in the piece that I have, and you get a couple of different plates. So you've got one that is rectangular and one that is oval on the ends, on the edges here. Now, mine is also a dark color. I'm not going to worry about that. All I'm worried about is having my door latch and stay closed and locked. So I know that I'm going to be using the oval one. Set that aside. You also have some secondary pieces here. These would be for actually installing the plate into your door. Go through those holes to hold it. So that's what those screws are for. And then this is like an adapter ring. So if you have a door that needs to, you say it has an oversized hole, you can use this piece. And I demonstrated this in the other video that I made uh, on the uh, another door, uh, quick set door latch. So I'm not going to worry about that piece because I don't have that. So basically, it's relatively simple. If you look at how this one is configured, you have that plate and you would just copy the same thing. So you slide this through that hole. It actually has a little flange here that catches on the plate. And then you take your quick set uh, cover piece. You're going to slip that around. And then what they tell you to do is clamp this together. So what I would do normally, I could just squeeze it with my hands. But if you need to, you can take a pair of pliers and squeeze that on. And basically that's it. Now I have just recreated the latch mechanism for my door. So to put this back together, I'm not going to demonstrate that necessarily, but what you would do is put this back into the door, run in your trim screws. These are the dark screws that I had, or I can use the new ones. Run those in, hold that in place, and it's actually going to go that direction because when the door closes, you want to make sure this angled piece is on the, you know, on the inside. So when it comes in, it hits that and it forces it to compress. 
This piece, again, will go through this opening and you may have to push in on the button a little bit so that it goes together. And then your interior handle. And again, it's going to line up just one way. And there it is. Simple as that, you fixed your door. Uh, to put this back together, there will be a couple of long screws that will go in through the interior part of the handle. Thread those in, and you're done. I should also point this out. If you want to use the piece that you have, the trim piece, you can take a screwdriver, put it in between there, and pry that apart. It might take a little bit of a couple of attempts at different angles to get it loose. And then you can transfer that to the other piece if you want to. Just letting you know. Uh, it might be beneficial to keep the one that came with it just because it's not showing any wear, but it's up to you. And if you want to put that back together, you would have to squeeze that together either with your fingers if it'll take it, or a pair of pliers and just kind of pinch it back together. Uh, other than that, that's all there is to it. I will post a link to the other video where I actually installed the door handle or a new door handle into a door if you want to see that as well. But that's going to be it. Pretty simple. Eight bucks and you don't have to get a new lock or new keys. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. By all means, leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think about it. But until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya. Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Workshop. Now, if you've seen my videos, you know that I do a variety of things on this channel. I try to show you how to fix things or build things and not like I... <clears throat> hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Workshop. If you've been following my channel, you already know that I do a variety of things on this channel. It could be weld... Uh, no. But... Let me show you how to save some money. I had... We currently had an issue. So when you turn the knob, let me unlock it here. So when you turn the knob, See you.